Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the new features of Gen 2 from Runway ML, including how to create 3D animated videos with this AI and how to edit generated videos with Adobe Premiere Pro. If my content is helpful for you, please support my YouTube channel and show me your love by super thanks button below each video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube Channel. I created all of the 3D animated videos you see here using the Gen 2 tool from the Runway ML AI platform. You may not believe it, but I created these 3D animated videos with just a very ordinary laptop that most of you have at home. Are you interested in making 3D animated videos? We all know that creating 3D animated videos with 3D software requires powerful hardware and a lot of knowledge. This is why many of you may have been discouraged from creating them. But everything has changed with artificial intelligence. If you also want to create 3D animated videos like Pixar and Disney animations with AI, without any technical knowledge and without spending a lot of time learning 3D software like 3ds Max, Maya, or Cinema 4D, with just a few clicks, follow me to the end of this tutorial. The Gen 2 tool from the Runway ML AI platform is very useful for creating 3D animated videos. It has recently been updated with important new features such as motion brush and camera control to improve animation performance. We will be covering these new features in detail in this tutorial. We start by exploring Gen 2 from Runway ML. If you're not familiar with how to use Runway ML, don't worry. In previous videos on the Amon Global YouTube channel, I've provided a complete tutorial on the process of generating videos with artificial intelligence Gen 2 from Runway ML. I'll include the link in the description for your convenience. This is the Runway ML website address. At first, we visit the Runway ML website and create a user account, which is free. After logging in, we enter the Runway ML website dashboard. To access the Gen 2 service in the center page, I click on the text image to video thumbnail. Here we have a box to generate a video. In the text tab, we can generate a video through a text prompt, in the image tab through uploading a desired image, and in the next tab by combining text and uploading a desired image. A bit lower down we have the new camera motion feature which provides tools to control the camera, and we will review it later. Next to camera motion we have the new motion brush option which is used to animate desired areas in images. Next. I will talk more about the ad style section. Currently and at the time of recording this tutorial, up to 105 seconds of video generation is attributed to the free user account. Allow me to generate our first video with the text to video system together. I have a simple ready-made text prompt that I paste in the text tab box. To control the camera motion I click on the camera motion option. Here I define a zoom out motion using the minus magnifying glass icon and save it. By clicking on the add style option, you can assign a specific style or theme to the video through presets to generate the Gen 2 video with that style. I select 3D cartoon. Now I click on generate 4s. After a short time the result is ready. Now we can play the video and view and review the results. The video download button is in the top right corner of the video frame. If we were satisfied with this video, we can download it and save it to the hard drive. As a test and with a very simple prompt, this result is acceptable. Certainly the result will be better if we write a better prompt. Look at me sometimes like all you want to do is run. To generate a video or animation based on text or an image, we navigate to the Gen 2 section. I click on the upload a file link. I upload an image from my computer to serve as the basis for generating the video. Once the image is uploaded, I adjust a zoom out movement for the camera and click on the save button. Then, I proceed to click on the generate button. After a short period, the first video is generated based on the uploaded image. I click on the download button located at the top right of the video frame. You can create your own videos based on a story using the methods I taught you and increase the number of videos based on the story sequences. At the end of this tutorial, I will also teach you how to edit, create a long video and export it with Adobe Premiere Pro software. After entering the Gen 2 section, you will see a new option called Camera Motion. This feature allows you to control the camera's movement and is one of the new additions to Gen 2. Now, during text-to-video or image-to-video generation, you can specify camera movements for the videos you want to generate. I click on the Upload a File link, 
select the desired image from my hard drive and upload it. Then, I click on camera motion. Using the horizontal slider, you can create movement along the x-axis, moving the camera to the right or left. Similarly, with the vertical slider, you can create movement along the y-axis, moving the camera up or down. There is even the possibility to control pan and tilt using dedicated sliders to create cinematic movements for the camera. The roll slider adjusts the rotation of the camera clockwise or counterclockwise. With two magnifying glass icons, one negative and one positive, and by controlling the slider, you can set zoom out or zoom in movements along the z-axis for the camera. After configuring the camera movements, to save these adjustments, I need to click on the save button. Let's take a look at a few examples of movements I have set for my videos using the new camera motion option. On the Runway ML website, upon entering the Gen 2 section, we encounter another new option called Motion Brush, designed to animate specific parts of each image in the image to video process. For example, I click on the Upload a File link, select a desired image from my hard drive, and upload it. Next, I click on the Motion Brush option. Then I click on the image. In the new window, we have a brush with the ability to adjust its tip size. With this brush, we select the desired portions of the image for animation. Using the eraser icon, we can remove selected portions. Carefully, we choose the desired sections. I never really know what's going on. Below each image, using embedded sliders, we set the path of movement for the selected portions. With the horizontal slider, we create movement along the x-axis, right and left. With the vertical slider, we create movement along the y-axis, up and down. Using the proximity slider, we determine movement along the z-axis, forward and backward, for the selected portions. To apply the settings, I click on the save button. Now I click on the generate button, and after a short while, the video is ready. The result of animating specific sections with the help of motion brush is truly amazing. I launched the software, Click on New Project in the Start section, name the new project, and specify the project's storage location. Clicking on Create. In this way, a new project is being initiated for us in Premiere Pro, and we are now proceeding with the continuation of the work. I then right-click on the project window after the new project is created, select Import, and bring in video number 1. From the File menu, I click on New Sequence, choose a full HD sequence preset from the presets and assign a name to the sequence. After the sequence is created, I drag and drop video number one onto the timeline. Given that our clip has smaller dimensions and resolution than the Premiere Pro sequence, I click on the Keep Existing Setting option in the Clip Mismatch Warning window. This ensures that the clip and sequence settings are preserved, and I will manually adjust the clip dimensions later to synchronize it with the sequence. Reducing the timeline zoom. I right-click on video number one, Select Scale to Frame Size to ensure it fits the sequence. Using the same method, I right-click in the Project window, click on the Import option, select Other Footages, and add them to Premiere Pro. Now, with a drag and drop, I add all the footages to the Premiere Pro timeline. For better organization and management, I select all the footages in the Project window. I drag and drop them onto the folder icon. This way, all the footages are placed in a folder. I select the new footages in the timeline and by right-clicking, choose the scale to frame size option to match their dimensions with the sequence. To trim or remove unnecessary sections or shorten footages, I move the mouse to the end of each footage, and the mouse icon changes shape. Now using this tool, I make the beginning and end of each footage shorter. Rearranging clips is also easily possible. To add music, audio effects, or even a narrator's voice, I right-click in the project window. I click on the Import option. After selecting the music or audio file, I add it to Premiere Pro. Now, with a drag and drop, I add the music to the Premiere Pro timeline. By adjusting the zoom, I can see the entire timeline and manage it more comfortably. Now, I trim the music and synchronize its duration with the clips. To increase or decrease the volume of the music, in the Effect Controls panel, I click on the stopwatch icon to the left of the level parameter to exit keyframe mode. 
Then, by changing the number in front of it, I can increase or decrease the music volume either in a positive or negative manner. Now, assuming your editing in Adobe Premiere Pro is complete, and you want to export from your sequence. For this purpose, click on the Export option. In the new window, enter a name for the output file in the name section. In the location section, choose where to save the file. Set the preset to high quality full HD and ensure that the format in the output section is set to H.264. Now, click on export, and after a short period, your output file will be rendered and ready. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create 3D animations in the Pixar and Disney style using the Runway ML Artificial Intelligence. I have taught you how to make videos using the text-to-video and image-to-video services and parameters for animation, camera motion control, and final editing with Adobe Premiere Pro software. Similarly, you can also monetize with this type of content creation. Now it's your turn. Please support my channel through purchasing super thanks below each video. This provides energy for the channel to continue its activities. If you learned something new from this tutorial, show your love with likes, comments, and sharing with friends. New AI tutorials are on the way, so subscribe and turn on the bell to not miss the new tutorials. See you in the next one.